Hi, this is Dr. Farley. Welcome to this week's blog. Um, what I want to go over today is a little bit on your philosophy on health and what I um, what I describe what I do is called the neurobiomedicine, but I want to describe the neurobiomedicine philosophy on health. Um, the first thing to understand is that when you approach a problem, there's got to be some thought process behind it deciding how you're going to approach that problem or not. And one of the biggest differences is that um, chiropractors are steeped in the understanding of normal physiology and then what's not working properly. And um, so the basic approach to the problem is that we're trying to restore normal function and we're not trying to treat any disease or pathology. And the deeper you go into studying physiology and function, the more that we find that there's answers that we can get at and the more that it becomes glaringly obvious as to what's happening wrong with the person and why they will never get to a health point of view. And no matter how much drug we pop, no matter how many pills we pop, if we are not restoring function, we have no opportunity to see that the power that made the body will heal the body because it will not happen. And we need to go back to this idea of removing obstacles to normal physiology. We have to just allow things to work. There's an innate intelligence inside the body. Um, on the 19th day inside um, the development of the embryo, your nervous system begins to form. And from that day forward, that nervous system controls and coordinates all other systems and cells of the body. So as the nervous system goes up or down in function, everything else follows. So that's why a key part of our practice here is called the neuro portion along with the biomedicine, is that we look at this nervous system in great detail. And when we get our measurements and we do our evaluation and our assessments, we can tell you whether the nervous system is working properly or not. So the brain-based care is really what's called receptor-based care. So you have these receptors all throughout your body and your brain that receive information from your body and your brain. You have receptors in your eyes, ears, smell, taste, and touch. Inside touch, we break that down to three different things, your skin, your muscles, and your joints. So receptor-based healthcare means that we're tapping into those receptors because we know where those receptors go. And if we can stimulate those, those receptors, then over time, we can activate the brain. So the very first thing that the brain requires is a physical stimulus from the body. So the body, sorry, so the brain does not necessarily run the body. The body activates the brain, and then the brain responds and runs the body. So we can tap into the body in those different receptors, and we can change how the brain works. And as we raise the function of the nervous system in the brain, everything else follows. So whether you're coming to me for a neurodegenerative disease like Parkinson's, dementia, Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's disease, multiple sclerosis, tremors, uh, multiple systems atrophy or some other movement disorder or depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia, um, cancer, um, some immune problem, autoimmune problem, thyroid, hormonal balance, we must look at the master nervous system. And by removing obstacles, we can restore proper function. And when we restore proper function, we can see on a regular basis the power that made the body can heal the body. Thank you. Have a great day.